Hello everyone, welcome to Simran Reads and today I'm going to be discussing about Man Have a Match by Sakshima Puridharavad. This entire video will be spoiler free so you can watch it uh, till the end and so without any further ado I believe let's just get started with this video. The main plot line or the main storyline was that they both were best friends in their teenage years but something happened, some misunderstanding happened and because of that they got separated. After 10 years or so Vikram Valia, Vikram Valia our main protagonist is a famous cricketer and Nidhi Marwa is a marketing professional from uh, working in a news organization or news company. Vikram Balia is out of the team because of his bad temper and foul language and his public image is completely destroyed and he needs help from the news agency where she, I mean Nidhi, is the marketing professional. So, and after 10 years or so, they are back and they see each other and something happens and, you know, even though both of them don't want to work with one another yet, because of their profession, because of their, you know, necessity, they have to work with one another. And what I really liked about this book was that Sakshima Puridharival is my favorite Indian author, I believe, who writes sweet, breezy, and so simple stories. I mean, her story is so relaxing and whenever you are in stress or whenever, whenever I am in stress, I really prefer to read her books because they are hilarious. They, they have a really nice plot line, an amazing, cute, cheesy love story. And I believe everyone loves love stories. So, yeah. And Sakshima Puri Dharival is my go-to author these days. I have read her first book, uh, The Wedding Photographer, and I really loved it. I finished that book in one sitting, and I finished this book in one sitting. So if you want any book which is light, which is very easy to read, easy to finish, have a nice storyline with amazing characters and amazing, amazing supporting characters, then you should definitely pick Sakshima Puri Dharival's The Wedding Photographer or The Man of a Match. The second thing I really liked about this book was that there were some diary entries about of their past, of Nidhi's past, when they were best friends. So there were short, short like diary entries and they were so cute to read because we all love to write, we all love to do diary entry sort of things once once when we were like teenagers back then and she did too and I really love those things. I really love how they both despised each other though they you know have some kind of attraction after 10 years or so again but you know still they were avoiding each other and I really loved that how they were avoiding and how they were reacting in front of each other so there are some hindi songs in it hindi one-liner songs from 90s and there are some like diary entries and there are some text messages so it's a complete blend of everything and the best part is you won't get bored of it because there is hilarious stuff every other page there is something or the other which will make you laugh i mean this book has everything what else do you need this book has a little bit of action a bad guy a good girl you know previous love childhood love and everything and the childhood love comes back and you know what else do you need the only main problem that i find with this book was and with the other book was that the plot line was so predictable for me i don't know i don't know if anyone else uh, was able to predict the pro plot line or the main climax or the main thing but I was able to predict it in the in first 50 or 70 pages only uh, I thought that this will happen in the end and the same thing happened in the end I really was like again it was predictable so this is the only thing which bothered me other than that uh, I don't think there's any fault in this book I gave this book five stars because this book uh, seriously so light and whenever you are stressed out or whenever you are in a reading slump especially you want a book which you can finish easily and which have a simple language which is easy to read which has a simple plot line and this is the type of book I read this book last month in August because I wasn't reading anything and first and once I finished this book I read Outlander like I mean like <laughs> that was a fail that was a fail so yeah, I picked Outlander which was 8.25 or 8.50 something pages and I was able to finish it. Such books can easily help you to overcome your book hangover and your book slump. 
I think that is all for my book review, my own views about this book review. And I hope you enjoyed this short, tiny review. And if you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I will be posting consistently now and you don't want to miss anything. So I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.